I'm trying to make our home all incandescent bulb free and I've been replacing everything with compact fluorescent or LED and two of the last places where I'm having trouble finding a especially an LED bulb in this size is the, uh, ho uh, the hood <coughs> which uh, is an Italian brand and then the refrigerator which is a Samsung which of course is Korean and they all use that same size bulb like this and uh, I don't want to use a compact fluorescent they just don't work well when it's really cold like in a freezer and I want to go with an LED I've got some ideas uh, let me show you those first off let me say that what I'm going to do is extremely dangerous it can be uh, there's risk of electrocution death fire all that stuff I don't recommend doing it it's purely an experiment and so don't do it my thought is to take this uh, this is just a mains voltage uh, type LED bulb it doesn't have a screw base and take this incandescent bulb and take the screw base off of here and mount it on here I am not really sure but I think it's going to involve slicing away this plastic base for the most part and putting it inside here maybe some epoxy or some better type of glue and yeah soldering it up but that's the uh, concept right now let me uh, go think about it a little bit more I'll be right back when I uh, when I have a better idea and uh, take the next step for safety I've uh, wrapped the bulb in some ordinary packing tape and I'm just going to crush it like that Then I will extract the uh, glass envelope like that and hopefully there's not a lot of glass left and then I will dig this stuff out of there carefully because I need to preserve the the uh, base for it that's the whole idea I want the base so that I can put the uh, LED bulb down inside of there now what I have is the bottom of the socket all cleaned out and so now I need to figure out how to physically and electrically mount that onto there so it looks like that and there's my goal so I need to uh, figure out how to modify the base of this and that'll be the next step I've trimmed this up so it will fit I got my Dremel out and cut the base so it'll fit in here so my plan is to solder wires onto here. One will go down the center of here and be this contact. And somewhere on here there's a little pad where, here it is, where they uh, had soldered another wire onto there. So I'll saw the other wire on here, fill the base up with epoxy, pull those tight, solder them up, and call it good. But first I think I'll do this in two steps. I think I'm going to solder the wires on here, coat it with epoxy just so these side edges, edges will not uh, short out against the walls of this and that way inserting it in there will be a kind of a slam dunk and I won't have to worry about the, the shorting aspect of it. So what I've done is I've soldered a uh, lead onto this side and I've soldered a lead onto this side. This is the one that will go through the hole right here and this is the one that will be soldered to the side of the, of the uh, screw base and it will be like that and the epoxy on here is so that I can work quickly. I can fill this thing with epoxy, push this thing together, and I won't have to worry about this side shorting against this side. And uh, just should make life easier. So that's where we are right now. I just uh, have to wait for the epoxy to dry, get everything set up, and then uh, put it together. It's all soldered, epoxy put in place. It's not beautiful, but uh, I bet it's going to work. So let's go give it a try. And there it is operating. There's the old style, the incandescent. And there is the LED. Well, I hope you found it interesting.